everyone welcome to my youtube channel the topic of this video is inspection of control cables the content that i am going to cover in this video is the shown below that is control cables size of cables and how we inspect the cables and also inspection of turn buckle inspection of push pull rod and rigging procedure tools and at the end i will conclude that lecture control cable is just like a rope in structure these control cables are made from carbon steel and corrosion resistant steel very thin particles or thin wires of strands many of these strands are bundled together and make a control cable and these control cables are used to transmit power and these are used in difficult locations where direct access is difficult so these control cables are used cable size selection is based on three main factors current carrying capacity voltage regulation short circuit rating Proper size of cable is most important for reliability, consistency and safety of the system. Oversized cable is waste of money and undersized can cause short circuit of fire. So there are three sizes of cable that are used in aircraft system. Number 1 size is 1 by 8 inch diameter cable which are used for aircraft primary controls like ailerons, rudder and elevator and also used in flaps. Number 2 size is 1 by 16 inches diameter cable used for trim tabs and third size of cable that are used in aircraft system is 3 by 32 inches diameter cable used for engine control like heat cabin control mixture and throttle control Here are the pictures that shows the three sizes of cable that are used in aircraft 1 by 8 inches diameter cable 1 by 16 inches diameter cable and 3 by 32 inches diameter cable now i am going to discuss that how we can inspect the cable inspect cable for internal damage is to remove the cables from the aircraft and flex them manually while inspecting them under a magnifying glass for damage Crane will be indicated by uh, broken wires or uh, powdered oxidized metal on the surface of the cable and also we can examine the cable by rubbing it with a soft white uh, cotton cloth if the cloth snags then uh, broken wires are present turn buckle is a rigging device for adjusting the tension or length of cables and reduce slack in a cable and here is the also the picture that shows the turn buckle fittings here we see the broad picture of the turn buckle turn buckle must be inspected before use and any wear or damage requires replacement if any parts appear corroded rusted or damaged the turn buckle should not be used it is checked for safety by attempting to pass a hardened pin prop through the inspection hole as i discussed earlier that size matters a lot so turn buckle should be adjusted with a properly sized wrench a wrench used on the wrench flats of the turn buckle body and turn buckle should not be dragged on an abrasive surface so Uh, these precautions must be uh, taken uh, into consideration safety wires are bent so that uh, each wire extends half the length of the turn buckle on top and half on bottom the ends of the wire are passed through the hole in the turn buckle eyes or between the jaws of the turn buckle fork as applicable Now I am going to describe the turn buckle locking procedure. So first insert the jaw over the eye bolt. 
then insert the bolt back into the turnbuckle and fasten it tightly insert the eye into the opened shackle then close the shackle so that the eye is locked into place so there are two methods of locking of turnbuckle single wire locking and double wire locking so this is the video uh, through which you can understand the turnbuckle locking procedure um, let's see this video there are two main methods uh, that transfers the force to the flight control system these are push pull control rod systems and the other one is cable and pulley systems so here in this picture movement of the cockpit controls transfers force to the cable to the bell crank and here the size of cable is 1 by 8 inches size uh, inch diameter uh, because uh, it is used for flight control surface that is elevator so for as i said it before that for flight control surfaces 1 by 8 inch diameter cable is used so uh, it transfers force to the cable to the bell crank which moves the control surface in the push pull rod system metal push pull rods are used as a substitute for the cables and the uh, question arises that how we inspect the push pull rod we have to check the play in eyeball check crack corrosion and dents on push pull tube check its fitting inspect the check net and check its thread check creep marking tools that are used in rigging procedure include tensiometer inclinometer wire twister turnbuckle adjusting tool tensiometer is used to check the tension on each cable clamp the tensiometer on the cable take a reading and you get the resulting tension next tool is inclinometer here we see the picture inclinometer in aviation is used for platform leveling load balancing boom angle indication and slope angle measurement then next is the turnbuckle adjusting tool turnbuckle adjusting tool is used for adjusting the tension or length of ropes cables and rods and the next picture that is wire for wire twister wire twister can be applied as wire cutter strand cutter or pliers it adopts a three in one design and is an important tool in aircraft industry in rigging procedure place the aircraft in neutral position examine the cable then examine the areas where the cable is inserted and wire is properly used to lock the turnbuckle at the end of this video i am going to conclude that lecture that is inspection of control cables so uh, equipment safety and uh, human life safety are both the goals of the inspection every component needs to be inspected using the right procedure the maintenance staff conducts inspection because they are better able to notice changes in condition that an average individual and uh, can indicate them more quickly thank you everyone for visiting my channel if you have any questions so feel free to ask me in the comment box